Morning again, Coffee Chat friend. This morning I wanted to talk a little bit about what I find people have, which is a, a resistance, sometimes use the word problem. And they want to replace it with the word challenge. Oh, it's not really a problem that I have, it's a challenge. I wanted to talk about this because is there really can it really be used as a substitute? I mean, sometimes we use words that are they're not really a substitute if we really analyze it. And the bottom line is, my feeling is there's no need to be afraid of words because after all, they're just words. And as long as we make ourselves known and clarify what we mean by the words, then they're perfectly fine. So I'm going to ask the question of myself, is there really a difference? Between these words and then next I'm going to sort of lay out what I feel each of these words uh, the appropriate use of each of these words and then finally you know why is that important to our quality of life problem I would say has to do a lot of times I'm not I'm going to talk in generalities here but a lot of times it has to do with what I would call unexpected things in other words, a real problem is something that I, that generally is something that I haven't really chosen. People would say that, well, you didn't really choose it. But I mean, in terms of practical terms, if, if my house is beside a river, for example, and all of a sudden there's a huge amount of rain comes down and my basement is flooded, well, I could say that I have a problem. But I didn't directly choose it. Yes, I chose to live beside the river, but it might have been a place where it's never flooded in hundreds of years or something like that, so the odds were low. But I didn't deliberately go out that morning and choose to have my basement flooded. So I do have a problem. Now, I also have a challenge, right? Because I have a challenge in dealing with it. So, it looks like the problem is that I it was something that was unexpected that came upon me and I have a challenge of dealing with it. However, challenges on their own, I could say that I can deliberately challenge myself. Example would be I can go to the gym and take on an exercise program. That is a challenge, but it's not a problem, you see, because a problem would be something that was, was maybe foisted upon me generally speaking. And this is not a problem that I have a challenge with these weights because I chose to do it. It was deliberate. I got up, I went to the gym, and now I have this great challenge of getting through this routine. Right? You see the difference there. So I would say that a problem can have a challenge within it. But challenges on their own, we can decide to do. We can decide to take on challenges and they're not really they're not necessarily problems. They, they can be. They can be problems in the classical sense, like a mathematical equation we used to call a math problem, right? We can choose to take that on. But generally speaking, I would say in a normal, normal communication, the way I mean it right now, is, is that distinction of the problem being something that has come upon us and the challenge, which can have challenges in it, yes, but the challenge is something we've chosen to take on. So how is this important for improving the quality of our life experience? Well, I would say with just noticing the distinction, it helps us once again to recognize what is the controllable, what are the controllables and the uncontrollables in our lives? See, there's lots of things which we, we might as well leave in the uncontrollable category, things like the weather, international calamities, these sorts of things. I mean, there's there's enough things in our own individual lives to deal with than to rather than trying to figure out how the weather has something to do with our decisions. Let's just leave that in the problem category. You know, if there's a big snowstorm and there's four feet of snow in the driveway and we got to get to work, that is a problem. But it's not something that we deliberately set out to do the night before to drop four feet of snow in the in the driveway. Now that there's a challenge involved in there too, but it is in the uncontrollable side of our lives, right? So it helps us to see that clearly in the words we're using, right? Now, 
why is this important though? Why is it important that we see the controllables and the uncontrollables? Well, I would say it's important because it helps us. If we're going to work on ourselves, we might as well work on the, the side that is the, that is the controllables. So it helps us to, it can help us to, to prioritize what it is that's important in our lives. And if we realize that most of our problems in that sense are in the uncontrollables, then forget about, for the most part, the problems as problems and just deal with them. But don't, we don't have to worry about them in terms of how we're going to strengthen ourselves. We just deal with them when they come as challenges, yes, as challenges, but they're still problems. And we just, and also we, we, we make, we realize that those things can happen and we do what we can to mitigate them, you know. So if our house was to get flooded because we were on the riverbank, maybe the next house we build is not going to be on the riverbank, as an example. We're going to deal with those. We're going to, you know, if the weather is really cold outside, we put lots of insulation in the house and these sorts of things. I mean, we, we deal with them accordingly, but we just, but other than that, we leave them alone, let them be, right? On the challenge side of our life, on the other hand, if we realize that we can challenge ourselves in some way and thereby strengthen ourselves, then that will in time affect, affect on an improvement side, our quality of life experience. So to sum up, then I would say there's no problem with using whatever words we want to use as long as we clarify for ourselves and others what we mean by them. What I mean by it when I say problems, I'm generally talking about the uncontrollable side of life and challenges the controllable side of life. Generally, I'm saying generally, I think things can get mixed up a little bit at times too, but, and then there's a need for clarification, of course. So I'd say there's value in both of them. There's value in dealing with problems because there is the challenge there, but it's, it's part of life, right? Dealing with problems. And there's certainly value from taking on appropriate challenges, especially challenges that are along the lines of strengthening what it is that we want to strengthen. And the resulting side benefit is that we have experiences of improved quality of life along the, along the way as a result. Hope this is helpful and it was great sharing with you again. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.